ಅದ್ವೈತ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಇರಂಡರ ಒಂದೇ ನಿಲೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಗಿರ ಅವ್ರ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಾಚಿನ ಎನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗುಂಗಿರದ ಪಾಕಲಾ ದ ನೋಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೋಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಥ್ರೆಟನಿಂಗ್ ಈಗೋ ಅವ ಎನ್ನ ಓಡ ನನ್ನ ಅರ್ಕ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದನ್ ಮೀ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಮೋಟೆಡ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ದನ್ ಮೀ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಮೀ ಹಿಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಒನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಓ ಐ ಪುಟ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಏನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಮೆಂಟಲಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡೀಪ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಶೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ರಿಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಟಿವ್ ನೋ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಸಕ್ಸೀಡೆಡ್ otherwise i don't even know how to measure failure and success the more than one is than a failure success ngra word la varam mudiyum or empirical world la adala irukke the question is inge irukka ngra dhan kelvi how much you want to map in your mind so duality first will bring all that okay that uh, you will have uh, failures you will have uh, your ego will start uh, you know uh, working and so on and so forth the second thing that will happen is that when it becomes dual fear starts fear of the unknown because you know you are different from the others now you and rest na edutpa this this is more an mental idea i want to understand that if you are thinking of more than one essentially it is a, a mental idea and that mental idea can generate fear fear of the unknown because enna vida vera namo irukku na yachipa moment you step into the world in a very serious tone that there is something more something more than one right then you are getting into a domain which is uh, very very different right in fact taitiro upanishathla in brahmananda valli there is a very beautiful uh, uh, description in the the advaita or description is so beautifully available in brahmananda valli it says you know anirudde anatme anilaye pratishtam vindate atatasya bhayam bhavati you know there is a mantra that comes what it says is as long as you don't see anything other than you in your mind you don't see anything other than you then there is no fear right moment you make the slightest understanding oh there is something other than me in the world like that this start this thinking process develops it says atatasya bhavam bhavati that's what it says so the the first thing that we need to understand advaita siddhanta is actually a concept which you have to map in your mind you have to map in your mind very very importantly we should know that first that everything that you do must be first mapped into your mind so that is the greatness of this whole idea of advaita siddhanta the second thing that happens when you have this dual thinking your body consciousness becomes bigger shankaracharya has talked about it in slow amount of deep uh, things in which he has talked body consciousness will come only when you think there is some something other than me moment that body consciousness happen then you have diseases you have uh, in for infirmities then you think uh, body related complications all that starts that is the second thing that happens in terms of uh, whatever you are doing in terms of uh, advaita siddhanta right and then if you move further it is a matter of lack of knowledge this the advaita is a deep knowledge i'll i'll tell you a simple story then we understand there was a guru and uh, there were some shishyas 
because the advaita can be very wrongly understood unless we uh, properly understand it there was a guru and there were shishyas so the guru was actually teaching a lot of uh, advaita advaita siddhanta and all that one day in the forest there was one elephant madam pudicha or yana odi varudhu the guru immediately climbed a tree immediately climbed a tree because that mahout the yanapan vandu kattindiya na move away move away this elephant is all in inebriated state it will kill you the guru immediately jumped and went to the top of the tree the shishya has learned advaita so well he thought everything is one so he was just standing there because for him everything is advaita so this elephant what it did he just took this fellow and then just threw him out one sariyana adi mandela yana pona appra meduva iranginar and the guru so this boy has you taught so much of advaita vedanta and i thought i saw you know everything as one that is why when the elephant came i actually did do anything when the elephant came you ran and then go to the went to the top of the tree why did you do the guru said you saw advaita and the elephant i saw advaita in the mahout everything is one only but you saw what i am trying to tell you is advaita you have to be very very careful for example you cannot say advaita and say instead of 1 kg of rice i will use 1 kg of stone and then cook my breakfast or lunch panna mudiyadu you cannot replace rice with stone in the name of advaita so this advaita is not a very uh, uh, casual subject you have to understand vyavaharathile dvaitam irukum when you are in the world of transaction transactions happen only when there are differences otherwise how will transaction happen transaction will happen only when there are differences whereas what is advaita saying you should be able to know that amidst the differences how do you also see a certain commonality and their oneness this is the idea that uh, shankaracharya actually talked about and that has a lot of relevance to us in many ways in terms of whatever we are doing so the first thing that i want to tell you is that an a, a thinking which is not advaitic has enormous scope for generating fear generating competition generating a certain sense of limitation generating a certain kind of feeling that uh, i am uh, actually you know uh, uh, very very uh, ordinary and all that kind of things so while we are in the world doing all that we have to understand how do you make use of advaita while you are in the world we are all working and we have our own jobs to do and so on so that's where the pravritti and the nivritti are the two that is why use the word pravritti dharma and nivritti dharma so pravritti dharma is all about duality nivritti dharma is to see something at the behind all that a larger purpose of life in which you can make sense of even the world that in which we are transacting so that is what it is so lack of knowledge ignorance all this is happening because this idea of advaita siddhanta has to be properly understood and what is advaita siddhanta teaching us arivu aribavan aridal it is called triputi see in vedanta literature it is called triputi you can apply it anywhere bhojanam bhokta bhojyam in everywhere you can apply there is a process there is a doer and there is something done so it's a very generic concept so what is advaita siddhanta telling us it is showing us the mega triputi what is the biggest triputi in the world jiva jagat and ishwara these are the three ishwara is the uh, term or destination jiva is the one who is actually trying to realize it and this jagat is the medium in which we are doing so the jiva jagat ishwara tattva we have to understand this is what shankaracharya very painstakingly through all his shlokas he tried to tell us moment you understand this triputi this mega triangle of which we are part then even small things that we do in our day to day life will all start making sense see she talked about arjuna what was arjuna's problem arjuna's problem was he didn't know the bigger framework in the absence of a bigger framework we think i am killing bhishma i am killing drona i am doing this i am doing that the bigger framework is missing and what did krishna do he brought the bigger framework back into the equation so advaita siddhanta helps us to do all that so let us see some specific details of that 
This is what I said, that Brahmananda Valli, which I was actually saying. Yada he vaisha yetasmin adrishe anatme anirukte anilene bayam pratishtam bindate ataso bayam gato bhavati all abhayam. You see, it says adrishe anatme anirukte. You don't see anything different, you don't see anything separate, separate. Then tasya abhayam gato bhavati. He is fearless. But then what happens? Yada hi etasmin antaram kurute. Slightest difference we start seeing. Slightest difference. Moment we start appreciating the differences. What he says? He says, Adatasya bhavayam bhavati. The fear starts. So the greatest value of Advaita Siddhanta is to become fearless in life. We have to know the non-changing component of everything in our life. And Use that while we deal with the changing things in our life. That's why Shankara, Shankaracharya says, Nitya Anitya Vastu Vichara is called Viveka. I will tell you, your decisions that you make in your life, in your family, in your workplace, in a common place where you are also doing some work, you should develop the habit of Nitya Anitya Vastu Vichara. You should know what is perishable and what is permanent. That training you have to develop. You will be a great manager, you will be a great householder, you will be a great member of the society, I am telling you. Because your age, your, your, your body is not permanent, your position is not permanent, your salary is not permanent, your age is not permanent, your relations are not permanent, the world is not permanent. Not many things for which we are giving too much importance are actually not permanent, which means you have to give only up to a certain level of importance to that. We should understand what is Nitya and what is Anitya. This is a very, very important sense that we have to develop. So, you know, it, the duality creates all kinds of problems, as I told you. Moment I say me and others, that feeling when it gets stronger into my mind, then all these will happen. Competition, fear of losing out, others' opinions and perceptions are very important to me because there is somebody called others. Right? Physical, mental response to handle obstructions, hate, hostility, anger. Mental pressure to perform. All that thing that I am going to Moment and the Advaita Siddha and the Purunjika me. Moment we get into it deeper, that I am thousand things that we are going to It's like holding some three tons of weight on our head and walking. That's what we are doing in the name of life. So this is where Shankaracharya brought this idea at a very high level. He also brought it at a very different, different levels also. Our own karuna inna na the pala level na namu kichuli kar. If you want, at the highest level, I, I mean, we can talk about the Siddhanta at one level. So, what is he saying? Our Lord Chatusruti is like, Brita Aramikra. Asmad, Yushmad, Pratye, Gocharayo, Vishaye, Vishaye, no, Tama Prakashvat. Such clarity of thought. Or Vedicharya Gadatil or Irit Tirkam Dima. You cannot tell, you know, if the sun says what is darkness, you cannot ask sun, stay for another half an hour, you can see what is darkness. That's not going to happen. When sun is there, there is no darkness. When darkness is there, there is no sun. So, in our reality, there are two elements. Vishaya and Vishayina. Asmad, Asmad Gochara and Yushmad Gochara. Gochara means all those which are related to what is called I. We all have an I-ness. Not the Ahankara. There is one quintessential I in all of us. Okay? And there is a quintessential you. You is the whole world. All of you are. All of you are. All of you are. So on the Yushmat Gocharatakum, Asmat Gocharatakum, Shankaracharya says, there is no connection at all. You know, I am so connected to this. He says that the connection is like darkness and light. Darkness and light are never connected. When light is there, there is no darkness. When there is darkness, there is no light. Adamadri, every one of us have a world inside which is all this. And we have a world outside which is all this. So now we have to resolve this duality and Advaita at the same time. How do you know? All of us go for sleep. Nobody in the world says, I don't sleep. We sleep at least four hours sound sleep. What is sound sleep? Sound is sound sleep. Sound sleep. Sound sound sleep. Sound sleep. Sound sleep. Sound sleep. Sound sleep. Sound Sound sleep. 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 Sound Sound sleep. Dakshana Murthy Stotra Tra Soldra, Pratyabhyan Varde. In sound sleep, all of us have the same Anubhava. Your Anubhava cannot be any different from my Anubhava. 
அது இங்கே மாத்திரம் இல்லை நீங்கள் அமெரிக்காவில் போய் கழுங்க ஆப்பிரிக்காவில் போய் கழுங்க குழந்தை எட்டு கழுங்க பெரிய வாழ்த்து கழுங்க எந்திரன்னு எப்படிங்கிறது சுகமாக இருந்தது தட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சுஷுப்தி இஸ் த சேம் ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஒய் பிகாஸ் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஆர் சேம் தட் ஈஸ் தட் நான் சேஞ்சிங் பார்ட்டிகிள் இன் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் அண்ட் தேட் ஆக்சுவலி இஸ் திஸ் நம்ம வி ஆர் ஆல் மேட் ஆஃப் திஸ் தட் ஈஸ் த அத்வைதா பார்ட் ஆஃப் இட் வாட் இஸ் த துவைதா பார்ட் ஆஃப் இட் யுஷ்மத் கோச்சரா மூமெண்ட் நமது வெளி உலகம்னு வந்துட்டோம்னா எல்லாம் வந்துடும் அடுத்த வீடு இந்த வீடு சிங்கேரி மதுரை சென்னை வி கேன் கெட் இன் டு எவ்ரி திங் பட் வி ஹாவ் டு ஒர்க் வித் போத் பரஸ்பர விருத்த சுபாவயோகோ திஸ் வாட் இ சேஸ் அது ஒன்றுக்கு ஒன்று கான்ஃப்ளிக்டாக இருக்கும்ப்பா யூ ஹாவ் டு மேனேஜ் ஹி டாக்ட் அபவுட் கான்ஃப்ளிக்ட் அது ஒன்றுக்கு ஒன்று கான்ஃப்ளிக்டாக இருக்கும் ஸோ எ லைஃப் இஸ் அ வெரி ஒர்த் வெல் லைஃப் வென் வி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு மேனேஜ் போத் வி ஷுட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த வேர்ல்ட் அவுட் சைட் இஸ் லைக் டார்க்னஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் and the world inside is like light you have to coexist in both and you have to find the art of doing it this is what uh, his uh, shankaracharya's uh, basic idea of resolving both so what happens look at this this is a very nice mathematical principle parunga there is a, there are six circles there 1 2 3 4 5 6 and these circles their radius is increasing simple mathematics the radius of a circle is so small radius of second circle is slightly bigger radius of the third circle is even more bigger but then what happens is as the radius becomes bigger and bigger the crookedness is coming down curvature is a measure of crookedness yeah this is very crooked means it is too too curved if you go up compared to this that crookedness is less a circle with an infinite radius is called a line adile one crookedness e kedaal this is our true nature நம்ம நேச்சர் இது திஸ் இஸ் அவர் ட்ரூ நேச்சர் பட் வி ஆர் அட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் லெவல்ஸ் டிபெண்டிங் அப்பான் ஹவு மச் வி ஹவ் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் தீஸ் டூ எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் லைஃப் பிகாஸ் சம் பீப்புள் ஆர் ஓவர்லி செல்ஃபிஷ் தங் குழந்தைகள் ஃபேமிலியை கூட கவலைப்பட மாட்டான் அவன் முதல் சர்க்கிள் இருக்கான் திஸ் லெவல் ஆஃப் க்ரூக்கட்னஸ் இஸ் ஸோ ஹை தென் தெர் ஆர் சம் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் அட்லீஸ்ட் ஐ வில் டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் மை ஃபேமிலி ஐ டோன்ட் கேர் அபவுட் அதர் ஃபேமிலி கொஞ்சம் ரேடியஸ் இம்ப்ரூவ் ஆயிருக்கு ஸ்லைட்லி இட் ஹஸ் பிகம் பிகர் ஸோ லைக் தேர் வி கேன் கோ ஆன் so this advaita siddhanta is telling us that you are nothing but the straight line and with that understanding you have to carry a life that is where acharya is very seriously trying to put these concepts in front of us 